Hey, hey guys! Welcome back to another episode of ARK Survival Evolved And today I'm out here in the bushes hunting and killing everything And I just saw a raptor there who's attacking an egg An armadillo Well, let's destroy this alpha raptor And it's dead Nice! I'm XP grinding, I wanna get that scuba gear but it's gonna take me a while to make it there. What level is you? 16. Alright, let's see. Stone arrows, apprentice sickle. Oh, that's nice. That's an upgrade. So I'm just walking about, killing everything. Here with Zerstörer, which means destroyer, if you translate it. Oh man. Ah, it's really nice to kill Brontos and stuff. Brontos give a lot of XP. T-Rexes. And yeah, I mostly ignore the other things. It's just a waste of time. Bam. Another Bronto down. Zerstörer by now is uh, so OP. Super Zerstörer mode. Oh, I just thought there was another Alpha. Too bad. But yeah, if you look at its statistics, it's completely outrageous. I mean, health... 13,000 something and melee damage 1324 <laughs> percent it's a level 215 I think his final form would be around 230 or so so there's a few more levels with this beast and yeah, that can be added and there's another egg what are you you softened up something bit you Level 32. If I find a really high level egg, I might try to tame it too. I call them egg because they yeah, are obvious reasons. And yeah, my goal today is to make it to level 75. I am... Um, yeah, that alpha just gave a few points, but still, there's ways to go, like uh, killing a T-Rex or so. It's like 120 XP. That's yeah, the f still the most uh, efficient way to grind levels. You can, I don't know, craft... Um, narcotics and stuff but at this high levels it's really not doing much so you rather just walk about and kill stuff let's see how much a stego is stego i'm at 531 8531 and let's chow it let's see okay we killed a diplo uh dillo with it too yeah that's about 20 or so well there's a lot of killing ahead of me and hopefully I come across a lot of alphas, but so far there was only one and I've been walking around for a good half hour now Killing things. I'm at level 20, uh, 72 and a half or something So it's ways to go. Let's see if I can pull it off today Okay guys, I finally did it <laughs> Pomus is here with me. It's like two days later now. Hi Pomus <laughs> <laughs> I've been literally grinding uh, XP for like two, yeah, six hours, seven hours or so in total. Just if you jump, you should get him up. Yeah, <laughs> um, it was crazy, man. Like towards level 75s and higher, it really takes a long time. But now I'm level 75 and I already learned the ingrams for the scuba gear. Definitely want to try that out today. So yeah, here we go. And the stupid thing is you really need to learn some stupid stuff before you can get the scuba gear, stuff you don't really need. High shirt, metal reservoir, and yeah, for the scuba mask, the height head and all these things. Good thing though, in the new update, they announced that lately and it had contained a lot of amazing things, including the cool elevators, fully automatic elevators. That just comes in handy when we want to do our big tower now, right? <laughs> mm, <laughs> That's kind of yeah. cool. And Let's put it in the middle. Yeah, new dinos and all kinds of things. So this is going to be great. But in there, they also introduced uh, some sort of soup you can make. And then you can reset your ingram points with that, which is great news. Which is great news because some people probably didn't know that you cannot um, yeah, discover all ingrams with the XP levels you have. And maybe have to respect their characters. So... That helps a lot. That uh, definitely helps a lot. Or, you know, I'm always dependent on Pomus because some of the ingrams we need, for example, the stone foundations, only Pomus learned and I didn't. And without him, I can't do stuff. And yeah, here, um, that was suggested by you guys. You guys said we should replace, oh, 
Pom is just disconnected. <laughs> he still has internet troubles. The guy was there already. Yeah, you heard it. And he'll be back on Thursday. Uh, hopefully then Pomis's internet will be fixed. That also makes things a bit harder. Because if Pomis is not there, I cannot make any wood foundations because I didn't learn them. Uh, stone foundations. But here, you can see it in the tower, we replace the stone foundations or the wood foundations with stone foundations. User now, did I get it right? Hi. <laughs> Just talked about your internet issues you still have. Poor guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's not been getting better the no. last days. No, hopefully it gets fixed soon. So annoying. But yeah, you guys suggested that we should uh, put these stone foundations in and it looks like 10 times better. Now, I have to agree. It's a cool thing that the stone foundations have some sort of a different texture as well. And yeah, it looks really cool, especially from the front here. If you come around, we did it to this tower already and this tower. And now they really close up nicely with the ground here or with the floor. And I think we will do that to all the towers here. Um, so we got four more to go. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Those two at the back entrance and the two at the front entrance we're going to do. We were a bit scared to touch it because we were thinking hopefully nothing collapses. But if you take out one foundation at a time, it's doable. <laughs> now the fun thing starts when Pomus locks in. He normally always runs in the direction. Oh no, you're back. You're really back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the question is how for long. Yeah. For how <laughs> long, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen when we dive around with our scuba gear. And I'd say we get to crafting that. We should have everything ready here in our fabricator. Let's turn the thing on and try that out. And um, it's under armor scuba stuff. Um, oh, we need some polymer. Okay. That is not a problem. Um, components, polymer, we need six. Six, seven, yeah, I made seven. And then armor, scuba, so two flippers, two masks, and two tanks. So it's not too expensive actually. No, no, it's not that bad. It just needs height, fiber, a few crystals, a few silicia pearls. But that's about it. So I'll guess we wait until it's daytime, and then we go for a little swim. I'm especially interested in if you can actually wear the scuba tank and dive on your dinosaur. If that also gives you the same effect, which would be actually really cool. Then you don't need to make the soup th stuff, which is kind of a pain in the butt to make. <laughs> Man, I have to say, the scuba mask looks dang cool, but why, if I press K, do I have still the freaking scuba mask thing on, man? It's like, you know, I zoom out and <laughs> look at me from, from the, uh, you know, other perspective, and you still have the thing. Alright. Nice so underwear, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's go for a swim let's and go. test this stuff out. You're really slow with the flippers on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's okay, I guess it kind of makes sense to have a impaired vision with your scuba thing. Okay, now let's see. Ooh! But under the water, you're super fast. Holy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do your hands also look like super <laughs> weird because it's just <laughs> so fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of these people who can't really swim and think the faster you pedal, the faster you are move. Yeah. Actually, like, I don't know, but I think just using normal helmet is better. Like, your vision is not much worse. Yeah, but <laughs> I think not, you, you wouldn't get the breathing effect, right? Yeah, you do. You do. I'm, I'm doing it right now, and it's like... You do? Yeah. I'm breathing what? because I got the flippers and the bottle. Yeah, okay. Who the hell would wear like, a stupid mask then? Yeah, <laughs> because the interface is actually pretty annoying. Okay, it gives you a bit of a better vision underwater. Yeah, but it's also. But it dirty. impairs. Yeah, it impairs, impairs vision at the same time. And, and, and the mask itself is also dirty. It, like you can, you can hold it. breath forever. Yeah. That's the Whoa! Tank. Swim up, man! Swim up straight! You Wait, literally what? rock it out of the water! Okay, I'm well, doing see. it. Look, look at me. Where you at? <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, this is pretty funny. Okay, wait. I'm, yeah. I'm wait, let, me, let me stand now. on. <laughs> 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 That's pretty amazing. 
So, so can we play dolphin. <laughs> then we stand here on the... Oh, there's a shark coming behind you. Be careful. Oh, that's a dolphin. Really? Look like a shark to me. <laughs> there's no sharks here since we got our players here. Oh, yeah, that's a dolphin. That's true. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> so wait a minute. Like, okay, if we... It's nice it that you don't use uh, lose um, speed in, um, yeah. in the air. Okay, so let me try something. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm not using the flippers. Just have the the scuba tank on. And now, I'm putting. I'm riding dust boat. And I want to see if if it gives you the same forever breathing effect. That would be actually pretty nice. Should. Yeah, it should. Hmm. Let's take Nessie. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. So, using getting my uh, uh, O2 up to 400 was waste. Yeah. Yeah. At least we got potions soon to get my. Yeah, back. Reset it. <laughs> well, uh, but that's that's actually a really good thing. I have to say that is that is actually really nice. Man, the rest uh, you know, screw the flippers and the mask. Yeah. I mean. Does just use the fish. Yeah, don't waste your Ingram forever. points on that. I would say just you know if you have a some sort of swimming dinosaur, you don't need it. You can just. I mean, the flippers are forever. cool, but the, the mask is useless. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it hold hold up though? I mean, it doesn't look like the thing. It's decreasing at all. Yeah, it. No, no, like it has. I'm underwater now forever. It blinks here and there, but. Say like it just gives me the buff down there without any like duration like the like the soup maybe the soup had 15 minutes duration and there was a cooldown going down yeah or or timer but this seems to last that, forever it's actually pretty cool though now you can swim around forever and do stuff i mean it, it's level 75 after all yeah it should be powerful so oh if I you guess. if you get off off the swimmer you can also hear the breathing i don't think you hear it when you're on the on your swimmer. No. I don't mind. Yeah, but this is like really nice to just go yeah. collect stuff. I mean, it weighs cool. 0.5, so it's really not a thing that occupies your inventory. You can just have it with you, and when you go yeah. diving, you just have it. Yeah. Yeah, you can always have it on oh, you. I mean, it's, so, not so really, it's really handy. It's not heavy. That's a good thing to have. That's a, we can ma maybe also look into the underwater caves now. So with that thing, it should be no problem to stay down there and explore and stuff. Do you know where one is? Um, there's no water in the caves down there, though. Ah, but you hey, have to wait. kind of get in there. But there's nothing special in these caves, right? It's not really worth going no, there. It's like, it's like crystals and oil. Uh, but so far, I'm staying underwater now forever. And the thing sometimes just blinks and that's it. I can see no so far. How long does it last? Will it take up durability or what? No, I don't think it... Ah, yeah, it, it does. Takes it, 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 does? It, it seems to be damaged a little bit. Maybe that's the thing. Oh, yeah, See? actually it is. But that's dang cool. That's really it useful. It still lasts forever. I mean, how yeah. long have you been diving? You know, five minutes or something, and it's like one pixel of damage. Yeah. That's that's actually really cool. It makes oil collecting and stuff a bit more more chill. Bit uh, A lot more chill. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, but... Yeah, screw the flippers. I mean, it's just why would you even use them? I mean, it's dangerous anyways to be around in the water without a dinosaur. So you probably don't want to do that. But that stuff lasts forever. And it was not so expensive to make, so it's yeah, really worth it. And is one polymer, one metal, and one hide and one fiber. So it's really not something yeah hard to repair i will just put it in the fabricator and probably find everything there <laughs> yeah yeah that's really nice man I'm the just plant has sound effects now yeah i think i'm i'm just down here getting some oil and stuff while i'm testing i mean we have so much oil anyways that's another thing i see a lot of people being super conservative with their fuel i mean we have our power generator r running 24 7. And it literally uses, I think, one fuel per hour or oh, something. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, 
If you put a hundred in there, you can run it for days, pretty much. Hey, what's with that oil thing? It doesn't break. What's with that the plant oil? Plant making weird sound. Ah, here he goes. What the plant uh, is making weird sounds? Yeah, it's, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> <Let me check that>. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is this. I like that. I like that scuba thing. Let's see how much damage it took now. Uh, literally a few pixels is like can use it forever. I'll carry that around with me like at all times. This is, this is awesome. Good stuff. Thankfully they didn't make it so you have to wear the mask all the time. That would be a bit dumb. Yeah. But like as a useful add-on for your swimmers, you can stay down there forever, literally. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Where am I? Oh, here. Let's go. Okay. Swimming back. That's nice. Good thing. Was worth it. <laughs> grinding for freaking eight hours. <laughs> now we can die forever. Small achievements in game. Hooray. Okay. Let's see. I want to hear the what the what the flower does. I look at it. What does it do? Oh. Is it the flower or is it the water next to it? No, it, it is the flower shooting at this thing because there's a dolphin sitting oh. at Nessie down there and it wants to shoot it. But it can't hit because it's hitting the water uh, outlet. <laughs> oh, okay, it's freaking out. Will it hit us? Yes. Um, like it, it won't shoot you now because you're in the line but when you jump in it, projectile. Hostile dolphin sighted. Time to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How much? I, 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 rep I replaced some of the fertilizer lately. So that's cool. I like that. I like the, the scuba tank. The rest, completely useless. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, come on. Level 75 <sighs> needed? I don't know. <laughs> They could give that to you earlier, for sure. Yeah, I guess I so. Nerf the tank and just make it like the the soup and it should be fine. Yeah. So it lasts 15 minutes and good to go. Yeah, I mean, maybe they, I, I think they, they might adjust it a bit or change something about it. It's quite overpowered right now. Or is it? I don't know. It's cool to have it. I'm happy. Yeah, we want to be happy because it took I don't so think long it's to overpowered for stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's overpowered considering how expensive it is, but you get it way too late considering what the rest does. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We can we can agree on that. That makes sense. So guys, um, thanks a lot for your positive feedback last episode about our tunnel of love here, <laughs> the war tunnel. Um, how a lot of people were putting down translations for that thing. And I don't think we could agree on one. <laughs> yeah, that Armament was, was one. Yeah, that was actually the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like <laughs> yeah. so many people uh, suggesting translations, and like I don't think I've seen a single translation twice. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this would be a complicated word. Also, a lot of people were replying to my question, how it is for you to learn German, and there was also a lot of mixed emotions. And as I thought, uh, depending on where, where you're from. Either people found it quite easy or not. A um, lot of people coming from the English-speaking areas, countries, said it's quite difficult because of the genders and stuff. But, for example, French people said, yeah, for me it's pretty easy because we have kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Dutch people also said it's quite easy to learn German for them because it's quite similar. I can definitely confirm that. If I talk to Dutch people, you always think as a drunk German talking or something. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's quite similar with some words in between you don't really get. So yeah, talking about more building, by the way, we were talking about our tower here we wanted to make. This is probably the biggest building project yet. We want to do kind of just size-wise. And we need to, uh, to briefly discuss as well how we're going to do it, like how, what the layout's going to be. We had some ideas. Now the question is, how are the elevators going to be? Do you have any idea about them yet, Pommes? Like, how do I look? Oh, did you disconnect again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. He sure disconnected. Hello. Hello, Pommes. He sure did. 
Yeah, Pommes' internet problems is not making it easy. So we'll be back in a bit, hopefully Pommes' internet recovers. We tried out the flippers now, worth it going to level 75. By the way, um, you're starving? Why? So much meat. There is also this bow I unlocked lately, just for the sake of having it. This one, the compound bow. But this thing is actually only good for PvP. So when we do some more PvP on here, I'll definitely get one. It's also quite expensive, but for taming dinos and PvE, it's pretty useless. The crossbow is better. And by now I found some good stuff. Um, when I was on my killing spree, I found this great sickle. And a good metal pick here, journeyman me metal pick. There's a good amount of damage. And my crossbow by now, let me drag it up here so you can see it. Um, it's also pretty decent, um, 140% damage pretty much. has a long durability though. <laughs> it's not the best, I saw tools with 190% damage. So yeah, um, we'll talk about our... I think now Pom is just passed out, no, he's just still standing there. <laughs> we'll talk about our towel project a bit and we'll be back. Alrighty guys, so... We've been building for a bit and we have the foundations of the tower done and the connection to the main tunnel. Just need to paint it and all, but I don't think we're gonna do this this episode. It's so much work figuring everything out. So it smooths in here and yeah, flows nicely. And yeah, we're obviously gonna have um, window shutters here too. All the way to up here on both sides. And yeah, now we have a little bend here in our tunnel and that leads into where the big tower will be. And you can see the base foundation for it. It's a 5x5 five five with the corners missing. And yeah, we have a bit of a wood pattern in here. Kind of looks cool. Maybe we put a metal floor in here too. Depends how the elevators are. That is the big question. Eh? Pommes is quickly going... I'm having lunch right now, so we're taking a little break and I guess we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Um, we still need to gather tons of stone. We need a lot per layer. And I think the elevator will be here then and hopefully it's a one by one. But we can fit pretty much anything in here, so one by one would be obviously nice because it would be nice and symmetrical. Symmetrical here in the middle, if we come up here. And yeah, here we're gonna extend the tower up. And I think to transition, like this corner here was a bit tricky. We tried around with it uh, for quite some time. But I think now it looks cool, like having the straight roof into the inclined. No overhang here, because that would just um, look awkward. I would cover all the windows there and it would look stupid. But I think this is a nice angle to look at it. Looks pretty cool. Another pillar here, obviously, to come around the corner. We don't need another one. Can, we were able to keep the distance between the pillars and if you look at it from this side I think that looks also cool have this nice little corner there and yeah we have we're gonna have wood here in the corners to make it look a bit cool and then maybe like come up with pillars here and have some sorts of balconies up there but we have to try it out and play around with it. The building process is a tricky one. Takes quite some time to figure this all out. But I'm thinking we're on the right track. For now we have this ramp here to get down. Might even be the permanent solution. Um, because yeah, it just makes sense. And then you can come up in here and go around into the tunnel. As I said, we need to do the paint job. And then we will see. This will look epic. Um, we're gonna have a three high room height here on the first floor and uh, further up two high. That's also already decided. And height wise, well, this thing's gonna be at least double or is maybe triple the height of the tree house. At least. We wanna make it really big, like a really nice, uh, nice looking watchtower there. So it's gonna be a lot of work, but yeah, that's fun. It's really fun building in this game. It's it's challenging because you know you have limitations, and that makes it tricky to make some stuff that looks really cool. But by now, I'm thinking with our base here, we're on the way to making the most epic base ever in Ark. You know, I've been watching some Ark videos of other people, 
and I didn't see anything even close to what we've been doing here. Oh wait, there's a saber tooth uh, uh, fell through here. Can I jump? Can I somehow get out? No. What? Did I just get myself stuck here in the floor now? Hello? <laughs> um. Oh man. Yeah. As if I got, I think I got wood ceiling demolish. I think I got myself stuck in the floor. Oh my god. I cannot access to the saber tooth, nothing. Ah. Oh, that sucks. Stand up. Lay down. Can I cr crouch out? I'm I'm in the in the saber tooth. I'm on the saber tooth now. Jumping, walking. I can't move. Can't move an inch. <laughs> oh my! Okay. <laughs> let me zoom out. Oh my god. Well, let me see if I get off now. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep on being stuck here. What the heck? Now I need to pass out and Pommes needs to drag me out or something. Well, that's a good end for the episode, talking about the challenges of this game. This Sabertooth is completely stuck. Like, if I rip that other floor out now, probably the whole ceiling will collapse. Because this pillar is there. Oh my god, and the, the cell phone alarm goes off, what's going on? So... <laughs> I'd say <laughs> we call it for an end. Uh, oh, that looks funny. <laughs> we call it an end this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'll need to somehow figure out if I can somehow get out of it. inventory too heavy to jump. Wait, uh, let me. Uh, okay, let me drop all that. Maybe, maybe I can somehow make it out. Jump, jump. Come on, jump over there. Do an attack. Do something. Just let me get out of here. Jesus. Oh, I made it. Man. Come on, guy, Nora. Follow me. Are you stuck there? Yep. Stuck down there. Ah, dang it. This is just stupid. Well... <laughs> See you next time, my friends. I'm out. Leave a like. Bye.